How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and the news has been released what is going on with community team of the year. So here we go, okay? So here's a content for today. Got some prime times. Domi's nice. Giordano's a team of the year already, so that's kind of boring. Tara Vinen, Connor, Leonard, Raquel, Hellebuck, Gallagher, Anderson, Hayes, Silverberg. So here we go though. The community team of the year nominations. Get started by going to the store and opening the community team of the year nomination pack. Select two lone players from each round of the pack and hold on to them until Wednesday at 6 p.m. So there you go, guys. You go to the store and you will see that pack there. Community Team of the Year nomination pack. Now, I opened this already on my stream, twitch.tv slash 14. Henrik TV, the link's in the description, guys. If you want to watch my live streams every single day, we go for at least three hours every day. And it's always a lot, a lot of fun. And you guys... Definitely should check it out if you haven't already. I know a lot of you guys already are in the live stream, so I appreciate all of you already. I also feel you guys in if you didn't know that I'm still streaming and it's on Twitch. So all right, we did that. I will show you guys who I chose for that, okay? Now, some people aren't happy saying, oh, you know, it's stupid because everyone just choose the evil card. Well, that's just what, that's how it is. That's just always going to be the way it is. Uh, if there's an evil card of those players, of course the community is going to choose those cards. Um, it's kind of weird logic. Why wouldn't they? Um, I actually don't have the Evo Spezza, guys. I do not have the Evo Spezza. So I did not choose Spezza as one of mine. But here is who I chose, guys. Some cards I just would like to see have Team of the Year cards. Nothing, you know, relating to their Evo cards. So Clayton Keller, you know, I, I, I was saying for my, you know, my boy John Wayne, top NHL player, uh, you know, hopefully. And Nico, of course, as I'm a Devils fan. I mean, I love Nico. Guys, vote Nico. I would appreciate it. You don't have to, though. Uh, if you don't, but Nico would be a nice little card, I think. Max Domi, uh, again, to Mick. Mick back, obviously. He's the reason. He definitely forced me into it. Alard is also another one. But Max Domi's a sick card. Max Domi's a sick player, so um, I, I really wouldn't mind it. Muzzin also. For the Leafs fans, you know, I know there's a lot of them out there. You know, I, I try to give everybody <laughs> some uh, some respect, you know, all the fan bases. Uh, then I chose Tyson Barry as well. I feel like he could be a really good right-hand defenseman. Um, there's really not a lot of good right-hand defensemen in general in the game, so I think Tyson Barry would be a solid option for sure. Gibson, I don't know, he's, he's a cool player. <laughs> I, I don't really, not really uh, going into much there, but he's obviously a really good goalie, so why not? Besser really plays well in-game. His competitive season card, a lot of people enjoyed, so Brock Besser is a slam dunk for sure. Devin Dubnik, <sighs> Devin Dubnik, you are my kryptonite, and uh, a goalie that I will always fear facing, so... I had to choose him, and uh, I probably would pick him up if he hits a team of the year, so that'd be nice. Uh, then we move on to the last few. Kessel I also chose. Again, a card that would be definitely cool to use. The shooting would be simply insane. A plus 10 even would be good. You have 93 uh, accuracy. Uh, plus, the thing about a plus 12 even is just ridiculous. This card would be very, very good. I'm sure Kessel is a very good opportunity, considering he has an Evo, and just Kessel in general is a pretty popular player. I chose Chris Letang as well. Right hand defense. And Letang always plays well in every NHL game. That's a fact. Um, I've, I've been using him since NHL 14. Haven't really used him this year because he doesn't really have like a high, high overall card yet. But definitely, a, definitely a good little card. And uh, hopefully gets a team of the year card. I mean, if he doesn't, well, you know, it is what it is. But I'm thinking he has a good chance for sure. So we'll definitely have to wait and see. Uh, the voting does close. And uh, I don't know. I mean, is it going to be the team of the year this Wednesday or is it going to be the next Wednesday? No one really knows. I don't at least know. Maybe people do know. Maybe I'm just really missing it. But yeah. So guys, here we go. You guys can see we have Peter Forsberg, guys. 97 overall. Shout out, guys, to Jacob Perry. He says, hey, Henrik, great channel. Love the content. I challenge you to not listen to the haters and actually see for yourself. I challenge you to use... 97 master set player Forsberg. I will be shocked if you don't become a fan. Then Jason Mitchell responds saying, I concur. I love master set Forsberg. He's an absolute beast. I would love to see a video dedicated to Henrik just joining people with Peter Forsberg. Well, guys, this is the first video you're going to get an opportunity to see it. We are going to try out Peter Forsberg. I tried him out on my live stream. So, guys, here are some highlights from it. Night divides a day. Let's go. Who said Forsberg sucks? <laughs> to the other side. <laughs> One more. One more rush here it's for Forsberg.
hat trick through two periods. Let's go. Peter Forsberg, like it's nothing. A hat trick in his first game, so three goals and one game played. Again, he's got to be good. He costed me 300k, 97 overall. Peter Forsberg's a cool player in general, honestly. So the way I look at it, it's simply a card that I could definitely get on board with using for a while. The price, again, it's for his price. That's really what makes him good, especially. I mean, 94 accuracy for a slap shot. You'll take it. 94 wrist shot accuracy. Not bad at all. It's got clutch player activator as well, but it's really not about the synergies. I think this card is just going to be good in general. We got rid of Mike Madonna uh, on the fourth line. Pretty much just dropped everybody down a line. Patterson to the third and Stasny to the fourth. So that's pretty much it, guys. Nothing really different to the team besides that, but uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Cross that line. Free puck off a defender. Chip to line A. Driving toward that net. He scores! And so the